hi there everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. Today we just have a, some, like a simple fun new deck because the new set's out and uh, a lot of crazy things are happening. So, you know, went ahead and just made a cheap little fun deck for you. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and the link will be down below for that. Today, we are going through Sludge. It's just a basic black green deck. And to be really fully honest with you, I just made it to do quests to hurry up and get gold and packs and stuff. And then I started going through gold like nothing in, on Arena. So I'm just going to put it out here and see how everyone likes it. But for the first guy, of course, it's a Falmir Knight. It's a one drop, one one death touch who has a venture. So you may draw a card and you lose a life if you pay two in a black for instant. It's surprising how slow this meta has got now since everything's down. And a one one death touch scares everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Uh, next up is Shovel, Bane of Monsters. He's a black and a green for a 1-3 with Death Touch. At the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent controls no permanents with a bounty counter on them, put a bounty counter on target creature or planes arc an opponent controls. Whenever a perma permanent an opponent controls with a bounty counter on it dies, you gain 3 life and you draw a card. So every turn he gets to freelo, put out a counter, and then you kill that dude, you get free, draw, yeah. and gain 3. And you're going to be killing dudes. That's, you're playing black, and it's just yeah. so nice to do that. The next one, of course, is Fiend Artisan. It's a two Golgari mana, it's a one one, but it gets plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. There's a ton of mill decks out there with rogues and stuff, so this just got its way up there. But you can pay X in a black and or a Golgari, sacrifice it another, sorry, sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card converted mana cost X or less, put on the battlefield and then search your, uh, shuffle your library, activate it only as a sorcery. But the fact that you just go get one of your big dudes just out of nowhere, sacrificing a little guy. Yeah, being able to freelo get a dude after you're like, cool, I don't need this Death Touch dude anymore. Kill yeah, him yeah. and go get a big dude. It's pretty strong. Oh, yeah. Next is the Kite Cell Freebooter. He is a black and one for a 1-2 flyer. Enters, you, your opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. Exile that card until it leaves the battlefield. So good. This dude just makes them have one less card in their hand for a little bit, and then they have to use their spot removal to kill him to get that card back. Yeah. So it kind of helps you because it takes away spot removal for your other dudes just so they get that card back. And it's fun now that most people use lands as sorceries or instants, so you just take their land, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, the end, that's like, pretty good. Enjoy that. Now this is a wild one. It's uh, Piper of the Swarm. One in the black, one three. Rats you control have menace. Pay one in the black, tap, sacrifice a one one black creature token, or make it create one, and then pay four, sacrifice three rats, gain control of target creature. Now this deck is a very long-winded deck. It's tiny small creatures with utility, but it can get there and you don't know how people are scared of this guy. <laughs> like th they use their removal immediately on this guy. And it's a one three for two. So it stops aggro really quick too. And to be able to just wait, see what they play, kill it with the spell, make a dude, then just keep doing that until you can actually get their guys. It's pretty good. Next up is Grackma, the Skyclave Ravager. It is a black, green, and one for a zero, zero. Uh, he enters the battlefield with three, one, one on counters on him. Whenever another creature you control dies, if it had a plus one, plus one counter on it, put a plus one, plus one counter on Grackmaw. Whenever he dies, create an XX black and green Hydra where X is the number of one, one counters on him. So he just replaces himself with another dude. Yeah. And that's really strong. Anything that can like keep dying and keep making dudes is really, really good. Yeah, exactly. The fact that... You can kill a three. He's a three-three for three that kills does stuff, as he says. It's amazing. And like once you have that dude as like a six-six, you sacrifice him to a fiend artisan, and you get another six-six, and you get another dude. Yeah, like seems good. It's done. Uh, this one, of course, is murderous rider. Uh, one and two black, two three lifelink, and when it dies, it shuffle up. I put it at the bottom of the owner's ladder, library. But of course, the main part is swift end. It's one and two black instant. It's an adventure, destroy target creature, or planeswalker, you lose two life, and it's just super solid. Every black. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna use that dude. He's just good. Yeah. Uh, Polychronos Unchained. He's a black, green, and two for a 0 0 Hydra. Um, it is a battlefield with six 1 1 counters on it. It escapes with 12. And if damage will be dealt to him while it has a 1 1 counter on it, prevent that damage and remove that many 1 1 counters. Pay a three, he can fight another creature. And then it escapes for six and exile six other cards from your graveyard. So. He's just a big dude for four, and if you sacrifice him, then you freeload get him in the graveyard where you can escape him and get more dudes. Yeah, exactly. And since all these creatures are small nowadays, or the fact that you can kill a big dude and bring him back, or 
scoop mob just like keep killing all the one ones as much as you can it really really helps now with the spells of course we have gust with darkness it's two black instant target creature gets minus four minus four until end of turn good killing most things solid uh heartless act <clears throat> is a black and one choose one destroy target creature with no counters on it or remove up to three counters from target creature so again two mana kill a dude always strong just super strong the next is a 1-0 that's Demonic Embrace. It's 1 and 2 black enchantment. When it's a, attached, it's a 3-1 with flying. In addition, it's a demon as well. But you may cast it from the graveyard by paying 3 life and discarding a card. So late game, it helps you finish the game. Or it just gives you a dude creature with flying. And it's just solid. Yeah, and it helps you get your Polychronos in the yard if you need to to just escape him for 12. So yeah. it, it, it just gives you extra viability and it's super nice for it. Yeah. Next is Pestilent Haze. It is one and two black. For choose one, all creatures get minus two, minus two, or remove two loyalties from each planeswalker. So right now in this meta, you get to kill a lot of dudes because a lot of people use just one ones, and you're yeah. like, cool, kill all those dudes. Yeah. The scoop mob or mob or whatever is just this is why it's in here. Just main board if you're playing one versus one, and it's just like yeah, destroy. You did all that work to make two hundred little dudes. Well, it's they're dead now. This one Nissa of the Shadow Boros. It's two green and black, four loyalty planeswalker, but it has landfall. When a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a loyalty counter on Nissa. So if you play her pass four, she you can ultimately just alter. It. But her plus one, on tap target land you control, you may have it become a three three creature with haste and menace until in a turn. Still a land. Very solid. This catches people off guard immediately and wins the games. And then you can minus five. You may put a creature card with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control on the battlefield from your hand or graveyard with two 1-1 one -one counters on it. It's just super strong, super powerful. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah. So even if you have just a big dude with six lands or whatever, you just play it and it has two counters on it. Or a uh, Pelucranos, of course. He starts out with 6-6 six, six and now he's at 8-8 eight, eight from the graveyard. You don't even have to escape him. He's just the, She's just... And, so good and she's really good because she gets double free counters yeah like because she pluses to go up making a dude a three three and you get landfall counters so yeah. she just is automatically extra value so literally by the turn you play her you can make her go to six and then next turn if you she takes no damage you just ult it minus five put in a dude it's just super good she's very 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 strong uh next is garrick the cursed huntsman he is four and a black and a green for a five loyalty walker you pay zero or plus zero, create two on two, 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 two black and green wolf tokens with uh, whenever this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on Garrick. Minus three, destroy target creature, draw a card. Minus six, you get an emblem, creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and have trample, which in this deck is kind of gross because then your death touch dudes get to be a four force yep. or bigger. And it, it, I have trample, thanks. Yeah. I have ended the game with that emblem for sure. And it's really easy to get to. He starts out with five, and you put two wolves, wolves out, and they both die, and then you can put that emblem out, you know? Yeah. Or just a matter of fact, destroy a dude and draw a card is very, very nice late game. Yeah. So it's very solid for both those planes walkers to really work together. Now, of course, with lands, thankfully, it's super easy nowadays. So we have Castle of Lockthwain, which is the one where you pay two, one, tap, draw a card, and you lose life equal to the number of cards in your hand, because, you know, it might get to that point for sure. Fable Passage, because you need a dual land, and then a black uh, Swamp and Forest. That's it. I'm not going to play any tap lands. Sorry. <laughs> I just, I don't want to do that. I don't care about gaining one life. I'm just going to play what I want to play. I so. mean, yeah, it works, because the Fable Passage just gets you, it, it feeds out cards, so yeah. you draw less lands, and it gives you landfall twice, so yeah. it yeah. helps out this up. I've never yeah. really had a problem either. You just have more Swamps than Forest, just because of the double black most of the time, but, you know, simple as that. But that, that is Sludge. It's very fun, and it's been dominating the ranks up, so hopefully I can get there more. And of course, next week you can go ahead and see about uh, the footage on Arena. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geetopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below, and subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.